Uh, time promotes or exposes everybody. That's one of my favorite quotes. Um, basically, it's like karma, right? You know, whatever you're going to do is going to come back to you. And it highly, highly influences the trust of your prospects. So if you want a way to increase the trust of your prospects, as a network marketer, so you can get more people say, yeah, I want to take a look at your presentation. Yeah, I want to join you and actually become a customer or a representative. Uh, then this training will absolutely help you. So let's just let's just dive straight into this. So it's, it's, it's 2020 as I make this video, right? And the game has changed. How has it changed? Well, in a number of ways, but one that I want to draw your attention to in this uh, video is market saturation. Right? You look around on social media, as everybody does, as the people who are going to potentially join you are, and what do they see? Every other person is selling a vitamin. Every person selling that vitamin is saying the same stuff. This is the best vitamin ever. This has got the ORAC rating of, of whatever, right? Of whatever it may be, right? It's all in there. And then you go on, and the next person is selling travel. I guarantee I can save you all money on any travel. Even if you want to go to Mars, we'll save you money, right? I mean, everybody is promoting something these days. Network marketing is gaining popularity. And they're all saying the same stock message. So what this means is that trust is declining in what we do. Why is that? Because when people are actually marketing this message, what are they doing? They're saturating the, the marketplace with mistrust. We know what happens, right? If we're honest, we all do it. Some people just choose not to try and fix it, which is a shame because it spoils it for the rest of us in this industry. We get in, we're excited. I'm going to be a millionaire, like money, money, money everywhere, right? I'm going to be at the beach because I get my five people and then I get my triple bonus and then I'll get five people who get their quadruple bonus and then I'll be on stage They'll be doing the confetti and the lights. Richard Matheru, yes, I'm the top rank, right? We have this vision. Well, maybe that was just me. We have this vision, right, of, of reaching our goal in a fairly short period of time. So we inflate the benefits of what we're doing, right? I definitely did this very early on, right? I didn't really understand what I was doing. And also, stupidly and naively, if my upline said it or the company said it, then that's the truth. I never thought to take a little bit of digging deeper as an individual as I would in any other area of life. I mean, think about it. We're not lemmings. Remember that game, if you're my age or a little bit older, you know, just walking off the cliff because the lemming in front has walked off the cliff. Like, if you go and buy a car and so the, the dealer says, oh, this is a great car. I'd be like, well, thanks for that. I'll bring someone in to check the car out. You know, you're going to buy a property. It's a great property. Nothing wrong with it. Yeah, okay, I'm still going to have a survey, though, because this is my money and my future. And it's the same with network marketing. We're asking people to, to put in sometimes a large amount of money, but definitely a large amount of commitment, aren't we? Come with me and I will change your life. That's what we're saying. So it's a big choice. So, of course, they, they want to research. They want to feel comfortable with the decision. And because there's so many people out there... This is going to be, you know, we'll be a millionaire by the end of the week. Copy and paste and, and this will happen. You know, money's going to fall from the sky. You'll drink this juice and, you know, the fat will melt off in seven seconds. You know, take this CBD drop and, um, you know, your leg will grow back. Honestly, truthfully. Yes, yeah, sure, whatever. I can save you money on every travel in every area of the world, every flight, every boat, every hotel. No company can do that, right? If they could, they'd be the one company and everybody would buy from them. So, like, people are, aren't trustworthy. They say, okay, network marketer, mm -mm, like, ne like um, meet the parents, circle of trust, and you're outside it. So, what I'm appealing for you to do here is the right thing. And thankfully, the right thing is also going to be what gets the most success in 2020. And that's tell the truth. The truth is good enough. And on top of that, I want you to really truly think about the amount of value you can bring to your prospects, to your customers, to your team members. Think about that. When I make these videos, of course, I'm building a business. Lots of people watch the videos. Some of those people buy my products. Some of those people join my team. It helps build my business. But I'm not thinking about that when I'm making this video. Honestly, I'm not. I'm not thinking about that. What I'm doing is I pick a topic that I think will be helpful for you, that has been helpful for me and people I've trained. I take notes on what's the most important point that I need to teach you, and then I deliver the message. I have to remind myself of what I'm going to ask you to take a look at at the end, otherwise I forget. 
right? Because promotion isn't in my mind. I'm thinking of how can I help you do better in the business that you're in? Because when I came in this industry, I was bloody miserable. I was miserable for the first year making so many mistakes. And my life now, I, I'd have to pinch myself sometimes. I'm so grateful for the, for the life that we've got. I want more people to experience that. And if I can play a part in that by passing on information that has helped me, why would I not do that? That's just cruel. So I'm trying to be a good person by making these videos and building my businesses secondary. I think that's why so many people buy stuff from me. Like a lot of people say, you can tell you're sincere and you mean it and you want to help, right? That's the way it needs to be. So how does this impact you? Well, when you're actually going to a prospect, and this can be what you're putting on social media. This can be if you're using the phone, all right? This can be, if you use content like me, online marketing, maybe a blog, maybe a podcast, maybe a YouTube video, something like that. Anything you're putting out there and you're, you know, you're going out there and you're waiting to bring people in, is that your primary motive? I post on social media because I want to show the life that we've got because of what this industry is allowed to inspire people to want to do the same and play a bigger game. I don't think what color or message or photo or whatever is going to really get them to, to, to like to, to like getting my team straight away. Same with everything that I do. If that's your main thought, people will feel that. They've already got this mistrust environment. Oh, network marketer, right? One of them schemes, one of them scams because of everybody inflating what's going on. So if you can break through and kind of shield yourself and just be direct and honest with all this crap that's going on in the industry and share what is really true to you, you will be shocked at the amount of progression that starts to happen in your business. Because if people trust you, they're going to trust what you say. And if what you say is the truth and offers true value, they'll talk to other people. Their happiness will show through. You'll get testimonials and great team members and customers and your marketing will get a heck of a lot easier. Well, the best ways that I promote my business and what I do isn't this. It's the testimonials I continue to get from people getting results in my program. Because I sat down and thought, you know what? The level at which this is happening in network marketing now, the level at which people can promote something is getting way ahead of the actual substance of what they're promoting. Do, do, do you see that? Do you agree with that? So the skill and the rise of promotion People are learning to do that quickly. You can get a course on social media marketing. Uh, you can get a course on Facebook ads. You can get a course on YouTube marketing. You can get a course on all sorts of stuff, right? Now, in terms of the value that they're offering, I actually think it's going down slightly, maybe even more of a decline. You know why? Because of this. People are seeing this level of promotion You'll be a millionaire. Ah, Barry does this, blah, 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 blah. They come in and then they, they're met with the expectation of what the value actually is. So this here, this, this here, this reduction is all disappointment. This is their expectation. This is kind of higher level stuff that I don't usually teach, but I think you're ready for it and I think it'll, it'll be useful to you. This is their expectation. If you're getting better, if you're focusing all your efforts on uh, okay, how can I get better on YouTube, Facebook, blah, blah, blah. They're important because it's going to attract people to you. You can't build a business with no people, right? But you need to make sure, damn sure, that when you bring them in, that you meet their expectation. The value needs to be exactly where their expectation is. It should be expectation slash value. If you're smart, you'll even exceed it. You know why? Because if people get in and the first thing they're met with is disappointment, they quit. Can I have a refund? Can I get out? Can I quit? I don't want to be in your team. Or just like tumbleweeds. Why did this person quit? Because you got better at promotion. You inflated a bunch of stuff. And the actual value of what's on offer isn't what you said it was. And now they don't want nothing to do with it. Because they were kind of expecting it anyway. So, like, does that make sense to you? Work on the results that your product or, or company or opportunity offers like this is one of the biggest things i did last year i was like okay let me take all of my products 
and let me completely revamp them to make sure they are so zoned in on taking someone from where they are to the results that they're expecting and then exceeding that. Let me make sure that they get the results better. The quality is, is increased. The, the level of training is like everything. They're like, wow, okay, this is, this is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Man, I'm excited now. Oh, oh great. I'm going to get the breakthrough that I wanted. I've got some results. That's the way people should feel when they come into your business or they buy your product. Not, oh, well, I, I guess it'll do. Or, oh, God, this is a lot harder than I thought. Or, I lost any weight in two days. What gives, right? That's just not the way you want to do things. So, that's my message to you today. Will time promote or expose you and your business and your promotions? If you're smart, put together a really great, strong offer. Make sure the product, when you talk about it, it does what you say it will, as will the business, as will anything else that you promote. Become known as someone that tells the truth. When you're promoting yourself, make sure you go out there and you tell the truth about what it is that you're promoting. If Just don't say anything if it's not true. The truth is always good enough and it always comes back to bite you. Time promotes or exposes everyone. Now, if you want, again, I've got my little reminder. If you want to know how you can do more of this type of things, I mean, we've only been here like 10, 11 minutes. I can't teach you everything in one video. But I, I've got a longer webinar, which is f uh, still free. Uh, it's about two, two and a half hours long. So make sure when you register for it, like I, I don't do like half arse in. I'm not interested in toe in, toe out. If you want to make $100 a month forever in network marketing, if that's your goal, that's great. I'm not saying it's not a good goal. I'm not your best guy. I'm the guy that if you want to get serious, you want to treat it like a business, you want to build uh, like four, five, six figure income, you know, per month in your business, then then I'm, I'm, that, I'm that guy. I'm more like all in if you want to be a network marketer, right? And build a big business. So you can go to richardmathrew.com forward slash webinar. If you go to richardmathrew.com forward slash webinar, as you would expect, you will see where you can access a webinar. Um, I'll register that, it's free, put your name and email in, and then I go through the three most important uh, points, necessities, to building a successful network marketing business. If you would all wanna have a full-time level of income where you have the ability to replace a job with your network marketing business, if you would like that choice, that's the best advice I could give you based off me being able to do exactly that and then scaling up now for eight record years, sponsoring over 700 people, traveling around the world while I've done that and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. So I'd love to teach you that. It take me about two, two and a half hours to do that. So clear out your diary when you register for that. Um, it's also in the description underneath this video if you, if you can't remember that link, I'll put it in the text area. As always, go create a day in a life that counts. Always have more desires and excuses. I hope you enjoyed this training and it brought you some value. Um, and I'll hopefully see you on that web class as well. Whatever you do, have a fantastic day and bye for now.